Hi, today we're going to learn how to download free ebooks from Cook Memorial Public Library District for a Kindle e reader. Today we're going to be using a Windows PC and OverDrive Media software. The first thing we'll want to do is to go to the Cook Library website, cooklib.org. So I've already got that up on my screen. And then we'll want to click on the eLibrary tab right here and this shows you all of the library's digital resources. We are going to go to Overdrive's My Media Mall. Note that the company that provides this application is called Overdrive. My Media Mall is the name of the local consortium of libraries through which Cook purchases their ebooks. So you might hear me use these two terms interchangeably during this video. Overdrive or My Media Mall, they're the same thing. Now we'll click on the link here and My Media Mall appears. The first thing you always want to do is sign in. If you're not signed in, you might not have access to all copies of a particular title because Cook Memorial often orders extra copies of popular materials exclusively for use by our patrons. So signing in first is important. To do it, click on the sign in button on the top right of your screen here and then We'll select Cook Memorial from our library drop-down. And now we need our library card number. Now, um, there's a handy feature here. Remember my login information on this device. So if you're using your personal computer, you want to check that so you don't have to type all those numbers in every time. So now that we're signed in, we see a variety of books on our browser screen. A couple of quick tips. Anything with this check mark in the A means that our library has purchased additional copies of this title, so there might be extra ones available. Also, whenever you see this book icon in black, that means that the book is available for borrowing immediately. So um, one other note is that audiobooks are also available in My Media Mall. However, we're not going to be talking about those today. We're just going to be focused on ebooks. So let's say that you're a fiction reader and you want to check out some fiction titles. So I'm going to say view more and then what comes up is a list of all the fiction titles by genre. Classic literature, comic and graphic books, horror, humor, etc. So there's a, a nice way to search that way. Or if nonfiction is your thing, you could do the same browsing method by clicking on view more up here or you could search for a specific author or title. So today I am going to search for James Patterson and of course a bunch of titles will come up because he's a pretty prolific writer and um, as you can see some of the icons are gray and some of them are black. Now the gray ones here mean that you would need to place a hold on the title. It's not available right now. So I will place a hold on this particular title, Hope to Die. Click there and it asks me for my email address. So it remembers mine from the last time as I was here. And what will happen is when this title becomes available, my media mall will automatically check it out to me because this box is checked and it will send me an email that it's ready for me to download. So I'll place this hold and then I will just wait to get the email that tells me the title is ready. So I want to go back to my list of James Patterson. Click here to continue browsing and I'm going to have to search again because it took me back to the main menu. And Here we go, we're searching on Patterson. And so all of these books are up, but we want to read a book right now. So in order to narrow down the books to those that are available now, click Available Now. And now, as you can see, all the icons are black, not gray. Also, there are some audiobooks in here, and because we're not interested in them, we'll go over here on the left menu to Format. And on the drop-down, it says Kindle Book. We will select Kindle Book because that's the device we've got. Kindle book. And so now as you can see the list is narrowed down 
to the Kindle books that are currently available. And let's say we're going to check out Private India. So we just click on Borrow. Very simple. And now this title has appeared in our bookshelf. So there are a couple of ways we can read the book. We could choose to read it in our browser, but again, because we're interested in the Kindle, we're going to say Download the Kindle book. Check Kindle book. And we will say Confirm and Download. And now kind of a neat thing happens. My Media Mall automatically redirects me to Amazon.com where I manage my Kindle account. So I want to get the book, Private India. So I click over here on the right, Get Library Book. And I'm going to type in my information. Now be sure that you have your password handy for Amazon because they're going to need it. No, don't remove it. Oops. Thought it took that. Try the password again. And here we go. And now we're ready to download our book to our device. So I'm going to say Andrea's iPad because I run the Kindle app on my iPad and say continue. And the next time that I sync my iPad, the book will be there. It will be there for three weeks. That is the checkout period. And I don't have to worry about returning it at the end of the three weeks. It will get returned to my account automatically. However, if I finish this book really fast, and with James Patterson, I might, um, so I would want to return that book early to let someone else have a chance at it. So I'm going to go to Manage My Content and Devices. And then what comes up is the book that I borrowed, Private India. I'm going to select it for Actions. I'll click there, and then at the bottom of the menu, or sort of the middle of the menu, it says Return This Book. Click that. Yes, I'm sure I want to return it. And I'm all set. The book has been returned. It is no longer on my account. When I go to my Media Mall, I'm going to click on Bookshelf so it uh, refreshes. Do account and then bookshelf and no titles are checked out at this time so the book has gone away alright so that's the process for using a PC to download a book for your Kindle e-reader hope you've enjoyed it and happy reading